Name your game. Moin Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu New Tales from the Borderlands. Und nachdem wir letztes Mal Episode 2 gespielt haben, ist jetzt natürlich Episode 3 dran. Wir gucken gleich rein. What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward the doctor the bruiser and the man drauf, of the town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure and with it the attention of many dangerous people namely susan coldwell chairwoman of the tv or corporation but those were worries for the future for now they had to rest regroup and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We Wird hier Poker gespielt? Oder ist das Solitär? Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Caldwell's brain stem? No? That's why I'm upset! Are we at any point going to talk about how you also murdered a bunch of TDR guards? <laughs> Forgot about that. Anu hat sich Silver an Franz Neigung zu Gewalt erinnert. You are back. Based on your heart rates and serotonin levels, I've concluded that team morale is lukewarm. Not bad, not great. Plus one half skateboard. Which half? The bad half. I notice you have been wounded. A little. Oh, jeez. Do you need anything for that? A med hypo war. I'm good. Probably not sanitary. Shame you weren't there with us, Lou. You would have loved it. Briefly summarize the events I missed. We snuck by TDR troops and found our vault monster. Oh, no. Please. You're leaving out the drama, the heroism, the Octavio. Allow me to explain. Tell me the story of how Komm, you die hässliche Wahrheit. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie Was? I respect okay. it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh, I'm next. <laughs> I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing? Wait, nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Das darf man einer Frau nie sagen, die raged. More about this. What I meant to say was, uh... So you Nichts. did mean calm down. Nice save, Ark. Really nailed it. <laughs> Your friend is... Just go easy on her, yeah? A little trust goes a long way with friend. You lost a lot today, friend. It's cool. We're cool. I mean, you took a hit from a guardian for us earlier. Oh my god, that's right. We need to dress your... Wound? I'm fine. A little infection. Ah. Never yeah, antibiotics are very good, This no? is where you were hit, yes? Of course it is. I can hardly feel it on account of... ...but not being there anymore. The wound sealed itself. How did it 
Es wundert mich auch. The shard. It healed the vault monster. It healed you. Counter theory. The rock didn't do a thing. I'm just a bad bitch. <lacht> ja, dann könntest du vielleicht auch wieder gehen, wenn das so hilfreich ist. We're gonna be rich. I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it. Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. We can. Nimm die Waffe. Doc, what are you doing? Being the man. What? Don't be stupid. No! No! <laughs> I'm not the man. I'm not the man. That's for sure. <laughs> I also Die lacht auch noch. And heal. Ja, ich glaube, mehr als fünf Sekunden braucht das schon Zeit. This is why I said we needed to run more tests. It's working. <laughs> I've learned nothing. Oh man, the pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn. Okay, that's great. But now, shoot me. What? <laughs> Don't. I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <sighs> Metal. Das ist halt echt richtig geil. This rules. Do me again. Do not. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Jetzt könnt ihr mal aufhören, ey. Irgendwann funktioniert's nicht mehr. Also komm. Das war eine Anspielung auf Bon Jovi's Song. You give love a bad name. Was ab? So geil. Idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great 
Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun. Guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... this element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. Uh, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. We brainstormed it together. Yeah, ihr seid auch Geschwister, ne? Oh. Okay. I love sharing credit. Ja, Art scheint nicht. Ah, it's completely fried. Mein Gott. All right. If we're going das ist so ein Beta-Typ. I'm going to need to fix my our device. Your gun is broken? My device needs some minor repairs. I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this Froyo garbage. <gasps> your Froyo garbage. Finde Teile. Dann lass es mal versuchen. Aha, aha. Ah, yes. You'll do nicely as a transparent containment unit. I think. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froga shop. <lacht> Wenn das das Einzige ist, das sie aufbewahrt. Aha. Geld gefunden. Wir gehen es mal hier so durch. Das macht keinen Unterschied, finde ich. Das ist schon ganz barbar, komm, das machen wir. Dann gucken wir noch bei den anderen. Stinkanzug. Okay, das lassen wir so. Und Fran. Das ist geil. Das ist schon geil, dass es die Möglichkeit gibt. Wow, sieht richtig gut aus. Well, it won't be playing any of Prometheus' hottest hits anytime soon. Not that I ever wanted to hear the Psycho Shuffle again. Oh. Sonic Smear. Out of order. Musikmonster, episch, Fabelwesen, Musiktitan, eine Art Koloss, der Top 50 Hits raushaut, bevor er dich verschlingt. Über 100 Polka-Melodien. Rennt um euer Leben. Fran, ist there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox? Again? Scheiße, die beobachten yeah. uns. It's for my only friends. <lacht> only friends? Yeah, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers, so Aha. they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <lacht> yes. 
gut gemacht. Als ob da eine Spinne drin wäre oder so. Kannst du noch böse Akku? Jukebox, gewöhnlich, deiner Dekoration. Musikmaschine, schon gut, es ist eine Jukebox. Der Teil mit den 100 Polka-Melodien steht immerhin noch. Nee, das bringt uns nicht weiter. Ich weiß nicht, hier unten war noch was, aber das ist dasselbe. Dann gehen wir mal hier durch. Frojo Maschine, gewöhnlich. Essensservice, Milchspender. Fran sagt, Fr Froyo wird wie Wein, mit dem Alter immer besser. Stimmt nicht, er läuft ab. Megamäßig abgelaufen. Based on my analysis, this machine is well, how to put it, demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine and it's you who will be out of commission. Kapis, steht da. Yes, Oder Kapisch. Kapisch, you loud and clear. Okay, die darf ich nicht berühren. So schade. Ein Band. Das könnte hilfreich sein. Nehmen wir. Pressure sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Die brauchen wir jetzt nicht, die Keks. Oh mein Gott. Ist er tot? Er ist nicht tot, richtig? Nö, er ist nur ein bisschen unterkühlt. Oh, er wird gut sein. Er hat nur ein bisschen Zeit, um sich zu kühlen. Und ich habe ihn gewonnen. Gefrorener Hank, ungewöhnlich, gekühlter Loser, kalter Typ, eignet sich als tolle Skulptur für Partys, für einen Frogot mit Hank-Geschmack, einfach Milch hinzugeben. Well. Geld. Nett. Nochmal Geld, auch nett. Ein Sicherungskasten. Autsch. Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks. Lass das, Pfoten weg. Sicherungskasten, gewöhnlich. Maschinenraumkomponente. Ein Sicherungskasten mit billigen, schwachen Tedior-Sicherung. Ganz okay, aber kein Vergleich zu den Sicherungen der Marke Atlas. Wusstest du, dass deine Atlas-Brille die stärksten, langlebigsten Sicherungen am Brillenmarkt verwendet? Tja, jetzt schon. Nützlich für technische Reparaturen, weil Atlas die stärksten, langlebigsten Sicherungen am Markt verwendet. One good fuse is all I need. So long as I don't screw up the assembly process that Ja, sonst halt zwei. Tada! Now, da haben wir's doch. For the finishing touch. Da fehlt noch was. Finde die idealen Punkte.
Yes. Schlagen erfolgreich. It didn't detonate in my face. Beautiful. Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. To shoot ourselves again. We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again. For the good of science. Ah, ich glaube, er braucht auch dann mal eine andere Verkleidung. To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But Where's the bot? Louis. Ouch. Ew, onu, ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like awesome. This, however, is just unsettling. All right, fine. Now Someone has to do the honors. Can I just say, it would be a real honor to shoot yeah, Hanu. Ja, mach. I'm game. Oh, uh, sure, Fran. Just, you know, point and shoot. Sort of like a portable Frogut dispenser. Oh, is that how a gun works? Sorry, device. Uh, it Got it. Hmm. Big overture little show, huh? Oh, sh Wow. It worked. I knew it would work. Of course it worked. We are gonna be so freaking rich. <laughs> Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize that this could change everything? That it won't be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! But more importantly, that we'll be famous all over the galaxy. Our faces will finally be on something other than wanted posters. And that'll solve all your problems. Yeah, Fran gets it. I think you misread my tone. Fran <laughs> doesn't get it. <laughs> well, once we're famous, we'll have a blank check to live our lives the way we want. And that's at least as important as being able to undo wounds or whatever. All right, so we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint, what better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? <laughs> Space College. I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gu These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And Spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. Atlas, they fired you. Oh, okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing, just hypothetically. Investments. Okay. Go on. Uh, uh, no, that's all I had. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echo Cast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, you basically throw a sandwich. Wie zwei Minuten, zwei What if he doesn't like it? Oder in Deutschland, I Höhle der Löwen. do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. 
probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. All right, sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. Oh, deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Los geht's. Hi. The perfect product. TWRP featuring JP Incorporated. Let's take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary, so exciting. I'm listening. That it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, sounds just like me. Einer für alle, alle für ein. Stolper nicht. We did it, gang. We're going on sink, sink or, or swim. swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't Lass mich on. doch rein, Mann. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Alter, das ist ja ein Kasten, ey. Ein Schrank. Aber ich bin schneller. Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamos. Move your touch. Komm. <lacht> I'm the new guy. <lacht> es And funktioniert I'm nicht. Right now. Who hired you? Oh nein. Jim. Jiminy. Jimerson. Jim. Jiminy. Jimerson. Oh, he knows I need these hours. Als ob das funktioniert. You're this one, Jim, Jiminy, Jimerson. I'm not playing your game. I'm standing right here. Listen, kid, you're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Oh, scheiße. Äh, wer war das denn? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel. I feel. <lacht> Sie hat so einen trockenen Humor. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. Annehmen natürlich. It's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing his Was soll ich denn machen? I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead. If only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. 
I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. <lacht> Roboter sind ja solche Soziopathen. Gehen wir erstmal rein. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers! <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces! This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to like waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it. You, nervous girl. I'm your dry rub. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch, or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing. Oh, we are in my cocky. If this baby makes it to market, everything you know will change. Everything. Wow. That is vague to the point of utter uselessness. Fantastic. What? Oh, nothing. It's just um. She's mich nicht ab da. Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh. You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face too, just to make sure he got the message. In France defense, he had a very <laughs> punchable face. In, in fact, if I could create an index of all the punchable faces, I, I'd, I'd punch them in order, starting with his. Sick burn, sis. <laughs> Wie einfach keiner lacht. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science. And I definitely don't smell confident. Oh, yeah, that's something special. Oh, God. I'm serious. Belass I'm mich nicht damit. TV swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people and I'm oh god. Lenk mit Gegenfragen. I could answer your question, but why not respond with another question? Because I'm asking for your help. But what if I deflected the focus back to you? That would be incredibly annoying. And yet, what does it mean to truly be annoying? Oh. <laughs> Aua. Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just... just... Wait, how do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person, I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> Come, we'll prove it you a little You gotta soup that thing up and you gotta soup it up now. With what? With how? You were able to build it in a burnt out furrier place from a pile of scraps, Anu. Where'd that go get a genius get off to? I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more. Octavio, what do I do? Beruhig dich erstmal. Dann sehen wir ihn ruhig weiter. Leave the rest to me.
All right, Palantine. You're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. Wir sitzen mit dem Schmusen, oder was hast du vor? Watch and learn, kid. Also mach. Pierre. Pierre. Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake. Oh Gott, beefcake. sie versucht ihn anzumachen. Das wirkt doch nicht bei dem. Me. Well, I I don't disagree with you, but. Sha 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 sha. Don't speak. Oh Your voice my. Is <lacht> das wirkt doch nicht. Is a rousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. All right, wir machen das Minispiel. Pin eingeben. Doch easy. Next level. Spam senden. Und das dritte und letzte Level ungeziefer zerquetschen. Zack. Also es ist halt hier ein bisschen schade, es ist zu einfach. Aber ansonsten. Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. Pardonnez-moi. Auf Wiedersehen. I guess. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. <laughs> all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then Nimm doch ein Aluminium Deo, man. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim. Yada, yada, yada. We're on a slab. I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh huh. Name? Dr. Anuradadar. And this is Octavio Wallister and Francine Miskowitz. Uh huh. Okay. You. You're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow, I'm impossible. Sieht aus wie ein Rocket League Intro. Jetzt nicht mehr. Let's go. Announcer, tell us who it is. With pleasure, Finnegan. He's lean, he's mean, he's the air Valentine. Welcome to the show, Pierre. There's just one question on my mind. Are you ready to Big fan of the show, Finn, and I'm gonna be an even bigger fan of it once I win it with my incredible Invention! Ha! Kidding. Not about winning, though. 
A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. I don't like him. Too handsome? That's why I don't like you. <laughs> him, I just don't trust the guy. I'd be careful, girl. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I, I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. Call me. Sabotage. Sabotage. That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. <laughs> ich weiß. Okay, you know what? I did sabotage this product. And I do it again too, one thousand times. You know why? Weil es ein Arschloch ist. Oh. Ethically very wrong, but sweet. Here, I would so love to see your invention at work, since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch. It's a ball. No, I swear it does more. So much more. Somebody said tampered with the algorithm. I've been cheated, swindled, uh, hard swoggled. And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, Oh nine. Oh, is this? Der wird jetzt zerfleischt, oder? What? Oh no! Oh no! What? Whoa. That little futz turned out to be a big futz. You messed with his device. You... You killed him! Ich absichtlich. He woke up alive. Crossed paths with you and now he's dead. I didn't mean to kill him. What I did to his machine was just good old fashioned innocent futzing. Well, you need to be more mindful of your futzing. A man is dead. Absolutely, you got it. I will futz responsibly. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. I knew that some bitch had something up a sleeve. Didn't know it'd be sharks. Oh my god. If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me. Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anorata Dar, you're up next. Just oh, me? Scheiße, ich will nicht Just sterben. You. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dumped. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavio! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anu Razirzi. Jetzt müssen wir gucken, dass wir nicht sterben. Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? She can do it. Auf jeden Fall. Was will er denn? Auf den Stern stellen oder was? Welcome 
to the show. Are you ready to meet all So, are you? That's not really just a question for me, but also my two trusted teammates. <laughs> No project is built by one woman alone. <laughs> and, and really, aren't we all standing on the shoulders of giants? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sith can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. Also good. To swim. Okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So you were saying something about a giant ass woman? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. <laughs> You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Answer questions with more questions. I don't know. Ich konnte ja keine Rückfrage stellen. What's that? What do you think I said? I beg your pardon? Do you? Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what it called? Allow me to present the Hippocratic Matic. This klingt doch geil. Why? Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Der nimmt uns auseinander. Das ist nicht look, gut. Shall we? Wow, what a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> It's definitely not quite, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. And I also come, bereit, um to rule. Really sweaty and desperate. Yeah. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well. Second time's gonna be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's science and magic. <laughs> Wissenschaft and magic. It's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, weil du es nicht verstehst. Magic. Magic. Du Trottel. You seem nervous. Zeig mal vor, bitte. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelment. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? Nein. He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! Scheiße, was machen wir? Laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hands. This is so insidistic. The last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, 
Taktik. Benutzt die Waffe. Wir schaffen es. Und jetzt rettet sie. Das Team ist unkoordiniert. Yeah! Er macht hier den Kommentator. Ich sehe es ja gar nicht. Zeig das mal. Ja, zeig den Kampf. Das gemacht von dem Spiel. Ich werde das doch sehen. Wir wollen es alle sehen. Sind die Haie jetzt tot? Ich hoffe doch. Und das Mikro wird auch versenkt. Hilf dem mal hoch. Sie aber nicht, oder? Scheiße. Jetzt macht es Heilteil. Setz doch die Waffe ein. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something. Du hast doch die Waffe. Anu. Anu. Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Ja, genau. Es ist den Fuß wieder anmachen. Oder das Bein. Geil. Oh, you 
if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. Jetzt kriegen wir einen Preis oder was? We have a sink or swim first. Now despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor. Angel investor. Wer ist das denn? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <lacht> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. Geil. Wir haben die Kohle erhalten. Jetzt können wir noch mehr Outfits kaufen. Gute Nacht. I'm thinking you me spin-off show we call it octin around you know because my name's octavio i do expensive <laughs> restaurants with supermodels around the don't push it <laughs> oh, 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 holy crap we did it we didn't sink we did not sink we swam I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly. Classic blood loss. I'm not so sure. I I it felt... Who cares? We got our money! Cash paper! My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss Tu es nicht, das uh, ist falsch. I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. Oh, God. Die Alte kann ihre Hormone nicht unter Kontrolle halten. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were gonna die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Oh, das ist nett. I never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. It feels off-brand. That's incredibly sweet of you. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. I'm not sure where this is coming from. It feels like there's a jabber clawing at the inside of my chest. Feelings. They're called feelings. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg. It saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Komm. Umarmen sie halt. Nee, sie kann's nicht, oder? Same. Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor. Well, sure. Is on a cooler. Nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's got to be a catch. Friend, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Ha! We accept. We accept. Thanks, bye. Go! Oh! Ouch. This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. Oh! We've 
discuss this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, well, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. Of course we did. You should have seen it, Lou. I hacked this jackass ball thing. Which got him killed. <laughs> ball thing. And we give the audience a live demonstration that will live on in infamy. It was so epic, some anonymous Brazilian air called into the show and funded our company. We're super rich now! He is embellishing again, isn't he? Actually, no. That's more or less what happened. I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. Plus 500 skateboats for us. That's genau not how for this system yeah. works. There is a complicated calculus involved in your skateboard metric, Francine. And, judging by your expressions and the overall, quote, vibe, unquote, I measure your team morale score in skateboards as, eh. You have indeed secured funding, but there is room for improvement. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. Und ich? I yeah, I know. But I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our programming. You can deny it or you can own up. Oh, we're pretending your rage is actually a strength of character now? That's fun. Bite me. So, what then? I am a slave to my nature. I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Frenzy? Yeah, that's the Your hesitation alarms me. Or perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope. Du bist toll. Don't sweat, you're killing it. That is the entire problem. Louis weiß, dass du dich geweigert hast, Hank zu töten. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? That good. We just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less. Ja, wir machen es gemeinsam. Busted. We can salvage this. We use the investors' money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, you got to fix the fence. You've been bombed twice. Hey, you've been bombed twice. You've been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Fran's frogets left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of... Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? Fran's frogets isn't dead, dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. 
sure. Wir bauen was It Neues auf. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by the real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. If we're getting a new HQ, can you do me a solid and make sure it has an armory? I'm not sure that fits our brand. Tell that to my Vroger shop that was attacked twice. Fair. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that Frogert Machine, jetzt machst du dich beliebt. Frogert Machines in the break room. Oder auch ah, nicht. Ah, no. Sure, maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. Like, think. Look at us, working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed, this deserves a skateboard. How good are you, skateboard? Just think, when we meet back up, this business will be operational. Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess... This is it, then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. <laughs> I'm so long, cold. Franz Frogerts. Das ist ja ein Eisladen, da muss man ein bisschen kalt sein. But hey, I got a new lost cause now. Friends. Well, come on, Bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <lacht> yeah! Meridian Leichenhalle. Mach einfach. So laut ist es doch auch nicht hier. Schöne langgezogene Tür. Weiß gar nicht, ob Fran hier durchkommen würde. You need a corpse to study the shard with. It's all about board. This isn't creepy. <lacht>
Rein da. Wer bist du denn? Sorry, you caught me remembering a joke. Oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, is she a creep? Mayhaps ist sie ja. To hear it. How many dead orphans does it take? Ah, I'm, I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradhadar. And I am Keeper of the Dead. Keeper of the Dead, it's a family name. You may Hüterin der Toten. Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... short. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell. All pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? Better World Enterprise. Das klingt gut, ne? Ooh, quaint. That's what we all want, yes? A better world for our lovely children. This conversation is mundane. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable... Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I... What? Kannst mir auch eine Sau verkaufen. I make candles. Ach so. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. Scheiße. Creepy. Da habe ich aber wohl was verwechselt. What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh my goodness. <lacht> Clearly. Now, please vacate the premises. I, no, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse like some sort of fast casual eatery, but that's not what I am about. With these corpses, I could perform experiments that will save lives. Well, if that's the case, why don't you approach a, a university or, or a hospital? I uh, did. They don't understand. Because our company is exclusively comprised of want criminals. There it is. Mann, das ist auch ekelhaft. Changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough and I mean, it's it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <lacht> <lacht> das ist ein Galgenhumor. <lacht> Give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around. Okay, then. Oh, must you ever so ungeschickt sein? Not ideal. Watch your head. Setze die Leiche wieder zusammen. Du es einfach. Brille brauchen wir gar nicht, oder?
Ja, vielleicht doch. <lacht> Wieder Geld. Also an Geld mangelt es mir hier wahrlich nicht. Jetzt gucken wir uns mal an, ob wir was Tolles kaufen können. Hier brauchen wir nichts. Sieht alles ein bisschen komisch aus. Wobei, ich mag die kurzen Haare halt nicht. Und das könnten wir uns gönnen. Dann gehen wir zu Octavio. Bei dem brauchen wir schon länger was Cooles. Das heißt einfach Kindergeburtstag. Mir gefällt halt nichts hier. Das sind alles nur Recolors. Über halt das. Der Friend ist schon cool genug. Vielleicht eine neue Düse. Ja, jetzt passt die eigentlich besser. Und bei Octavio eine neue Uhr. Nee. Da haben wir auch noch was. Eine Kühlbox. Das Geld wieder zurückbekommen. Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Ja, du bist ganz stolz. Wieder nur Geld. Vielleicht können wir die Metallstange usen. Einfach mal eingepackt. Ich meine, jetzt gefällt mir das Skin eigentlich noch besser. Scheint hier nicht zu munden, ne? Das Paraffin. Der Eischrank. Was ist da drin? Mach ihn fertig. Ja, lass mal kämpfen. Und? Schere, Stein, Papier oder was? Okay, welchen nehmen wir? Der schwach. Amara! Amara! Jetzt können wir einen gewinnen. Das wäre wichtig jetzt an der Stelle. Nee. Critical. Boah, das tut weh. Und tot. Geile Animation, ey. Dankeschön. Du hast einen neuen Waldländer. Roland, episch. Chance, Schaden abzublocken. Geh wieder rein in dein Loch, komm. Ich 
I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Er macht's halt wirklich. Auf Wiedersehen. Wir haben immer noch die Leiche noch nicht zusammengesetzt. Jetzt versuchen wir es mit der Brille. Gewöhnlich. TV. Unterhaltung notwendig. Das Fundament der Bedürfnishierarchie der Menschheit. Wo es kein Fernsehen gibt, gibt es kein Leben. Es folgt Gag House. Eine Reality Show, bei der jemand versucht, in einem Haus voller tollwütiger Skags zu überleben. Jede Woche ein neuer Kandidat. Cathode Ray Digitube. Apparently it cuts down input lag when playing Echo Sims. Huh. I'm trying to go pro in Turbo Punch Siblings Skirmish. Cool. Ach mal. Leiche gewöhnlich, ehemalige Person, widerlich, toter Mensch, der Muskelaufbau deutet auf ein Tanztalent hin, Todesursache, Tod durch Disco-Besuch, ein Disco-Inferno, glücklich gestorben. Da ich den Schädel scanne. Kopf, ungewöhnlich, Körperteil, abgetrennt, Köpfe sitzen normalerweise auf einem Körper, dieser nicht, so eklig, so eklig, so eklig, wegen dir habe ich es gescannt, wegen dir habe ich dieses gruselige, gefrorene Gesicht analysiert, diese totenglasigen Augeäpfel, du bist krank, echt krank. Ist halt sonst nichts, ne? Ich kann die Kerze scannen. Kerzen, gewöhnlich, Komposition, Lichtzylinder, wachsartig, perfekt, um je nach Bedarf für ein romantisches oder voll unheimliches Ambiente zu sorgen. Amüsantes Detail, 100% organischer menschlicher Talg. Weniger amüsantes Detail, duftet nicht nach Bacon. Oh, it's not made of wax. Oh, okay, oh boy. Foto mit Kindern, gewöhnlich, Memento, sentimental, allen Hüterinnen der Toten wird in der Pathologieschule beigebracht, Fotos ihrer Kinder strategisch zu platzieren, damit sie nahbarer wirken. Kinderlosen Hüterinnen werden Kinder zur Verfügung gestellt, Kinder aufzuziehen erfordert enorm viel Zeit, Energie und Geld. Im Gegensatz zu einer Atlas-Brille, mit der du für nur 4.999 Dollar überall Objekte scannen kannst. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those poor kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. Ich will da noch nicht reingehen. Aber ich befürchte, wir müssen es tun. Es ist sonst hier nichts mehr zu finden. Everything all right? Just uh, readying the corpse. Please don't tell me what that means. Ist noch was, genau. Ein Schließfach. Wieder nur Geld. Jetzt sieht's danach aus. Mach's einfach. Ach Gott. Ist das ekelhaft. Oh Gott, mach's nicht. Oder schnell, kurz und schmerzlos, bitte. Es 
geht's relativ gut. Hat halt einen langen Hals. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Do. Man, I know, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <coughs> <coughs> Follow me, please. I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. Is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. Man, that's the so scheiße von dir. Be mad at the coffin. Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Müssen wir den Weg hier rausfinden, ne? Think. Wait. The goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dahl. Sehr gut. Now punch. Die Firmware ist wieder oh. auf dem neuesten Stand. Yes! Oh. No. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. Muss ich das jetzt 5,000 Mal machen? Nee, oder? Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because TDR will be here at any moment to capture and kill you. Just one punch at a time. All right. Vielleicht wird das noch was. Okay. Starting to hurt. A lot. Come on. Almost there with about 3900 to go. You've reached Dr. Anuradhadar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so please leave a message. Your little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. Out! Out! I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward nerdy lady, Dar. That's right. And she's dead. Uh, not yet. But her oxygen sure to run out This is so grausam. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My mum will arrive to dispose of you. I mean dispense your rewards you shortly. Uh, das war ein freudscher Versprecher. Genau. Sie ist eigentlich gar nicht so dumm. Ne? Und das war's mit Episode 3. Wir gucken uns noch die Statistiken an.
Skateboard-Punkte, 53%. Teamverbundenheit, das hat sich wohl schon mal verbessert. Und ich finde, die sehen jetzt auch gut aus, so im Verbund. Mit den Outfits, Gehirn und Muckis, 60%. Verhältnis zwischen Anu und Fran. Schwester und Bruder, 45%. Verhältnis zwischen Anu und Octavio, was noch ein bisschen unterkühlt ist, ist Frogurt. Und Tacos, 41%. Verhältnis zwischen Fran und Octavio. Voltländer gefunden. Einen haben wir nicht gesehen. Dann Anu, du hast Octavio angeschossen. Du hast Finn erzählt, dass du einem Dream Team angehören willst. Du hast die Firma Better World Enterprises genannt. Du hast nicht die magische Oboe gespielt, um den Bio zu beruhigen. Dann Octavio, du hast der Wache vorgeflunkert, die Wachablösung zu sein. Du hast das Geld für den Auftrag angenommen. Du hast Anu geraten, während ihrer Präsentation mit Gegenfragen abzulenken. Du hast zugegeben, Pierre sabotiert zu haben. Du hast dir gewünscht, die Haie hätten dich statt Anu gefressen. Du wolltest in dieser Episode keine Tacos. Und zu guter Letzt, Fran, du hältst Finn für eine hinterhältige Schlange. Du bist grazil in das Haifischbecken eingetaucht. Du wurdest nicht in einem Becken voller wilder Haie erledigt. Du hast Octavio nicht geschlagen. Ja Leute, das war's mit Episode 3 und wie ihr es hier schon rechts unten in der Vorschau seht, folgt nächstes Mal Episode 4. Es bleibt witzig, es bleibt spannend, aber vor allem witzig. In diesem Sinne wünsche ich euch allen viel Spaß mit euren eigenen Games. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.